Hi, if you are interested in live streaming on 10-3-2019, which is on Sunday at 7 p.m. sharp, that's Indian Standard Time, you can join if you can just uh, refer to your friends and chat your colleagues if you who I want to join. The agenda of the live streaming will be on how are automotive industries and how what are the stuff you want to learn if you are a fresher or on your two years experience or if you are over experience or if you want to switch from any other domain to automotive domain or in automotive uh, you may or what are the components that you can be work on like what are the components will be very good at in future and finally it would be a testing or development who would be have a great stuff even the designers yeah everyone so we can just discuss all those stuff in the live streaming so without wasting our time we can go to tutorial this the agenda of this tutorial is airbag yeah, it's really a sensitive topic in you know automotive industry that it saves millions of lives yes so what is airbag how airbag exists simple block diagram components um, explanation on individual components then working of the airbag advancements in airbag as it, it started from the day now it exists yeah and now we can you guys can follow us on Insta instagram also or uh, yes i just uh, mentioned the invite link in the description and if you want to join our whatsapp group yeah same you can visit our description you can welcome to the whatsapp group to have a uh, technical discussions and interview schedules and so on yeah add back so what is airbag it's just a device to inflate rapidly during collision or any accidents occurs so inflate in the sense is just open up to save our life yes but the basic principle behind it's a, it's a very simple physics principle the newton's first law of motion when an object moving at constant velocity continue at the same velocity unless an external force acts upon them so the simple principle behind airbag every airbag yes so before knowing to the airbag you just you just want to understand what are the modules or what are the components present in the airbag uh, so the complete system consists it's a crash sensor the ecu and airbag system there are only three components or three modules can be split up on the airbag working so that we can just to see individually so that you can easily understand the stuff so first we'll start with the crash sensor so this is how the crash sensor looks so here we have three pins out in and ground so input and output ground i don't want to give more explanation about input or ground so this is how it looks so what crash sensor do yes crash sensor senses the sudden deceleration takes place during vehicle crash or an accident occurs then they also determine the position of the vehicles with respect to the road so like how the position is like is it inclination or top inclination or down inclination or hill how it's a normal road can be determined it will sense to the ecu then airbag control unit has to receive one or more impulse from the sensor to deploy airbag yeah so anyhow the airbag system have to deploy that means should inflate so it have to collect the information from the crash sensor what are the necessary information like how the, how fast the deceleration occurs what are the position of the road so these kind of stuff can be gathered from the crash sensor to the ecu then how airbag control unit see here we can if we go upon yeah see from crash sensor it goes to ecu from ec to airbag system now the crash sensor is to just sense the signal that is the deceleration signals and uh, what is the position of the uh, car everything then it sends to the ecu ecu process and it will send to the airbag system yes now what ecu do see this is how the airbag control unit that is the acu or ecu looks like yes it's a it's like attached ecu attached is the hydraulic component and the electronic component attached with each other so airbag control unit the airbag control unit detects and evaluates the severity of an accident and trigger the appropriate restraint system so it will detect so once the sensor has sends the signal to the ecu that is acu acu will uh, just uh, detect sorry it will evaluate uh, how the how severe the accident is if it is more severe yes it will it will immediately deploy it will immediately order to deploy the airbag actually acu will not deploy airbag it will just it will just give a condition to inflate the airbag system yes ac gathered information from many sensors like acceleration sensor 
wheel speed sensor, rotational speed sensor and so on. The information gathered is used to evaluate and control the signals from other sensors. Yeah. Once all the information satisfies, then ACU can give the controls to the airbag control system, airbag system to inflate the airbag. And finally, not only it will it will give a order to inflate, it also switch off all the most dangerous and critical sources of power or sources of power leakage so it will just uh, it will off everything it will switch off all those th stuffs like interiors like a turn off the interiors who are what are the interiors have the power supply or you know fuel injections throttle so those kind of stuff can be like fuel pumps engine everything can be stopped by the acu as it will decrease the severity of the accident because if the if accident occurs at the time if fuel injection injectors or fuel pump also open then the spark may occur the sudden blast of the vehicle so acu has a take a responsibility to switch off all these kind of stuffs then so this is how the airbag systems looks so once ecu done then it will send the signal to the acu sorry that airbag control system so in the airbag control system it have see here i have given the very small uh, brief uh, explanation or brief uh, pictorial representation of the crash sensor to the airbag see here crash sensor we have the crash sensor sends the input to the ecu ecu or acu the ecu will send them command to the inflator to start to burn that is it will start to ignite it will not actually burn uh, there is a on, on chemical process behind this that i will explain in the next slide so once the the particular chemical reaction started then it give a product as nitrogen gas the nitrogen gas will blow the nylon bag that is a airbag it will open and it will save the passenger or driver lives so this entire process have to take in care within within 0.4 seconds that is the advancement the airbag industry then it's not only 0.4 even some some cars have 0.25 that was given in the spec yeah so here again we are go in depth into the airbag system in this the inflator so this is how the inflator looks like see here uh, see yeah so here we have the this is how the positive net this is a battery actually this is a battery supply once the once the airbag control system gives the con order to ignite then this circuit will close then it will start to give the voltage so once this positive and negative voltage given here so in this pin inside this we we have the chemical called you know the sodium yeah sodium acid this is a chemical name so the sodium acid will present inside this once this sodium acid will start get the ignite and it split to the nitrogen gas and the sodium see uh, this nitrogen gas will blow the airbag that is made up of nylon and the airbag opens so this is how the complete airbag works so here we have what are the other stuffs in the airbag so powder that is a talcum powder or you know some some corn powder will be there for to just uh, avoid the you know uh, if it is old it will just uh, for lubrication they have used the powder uh, to not to stick with one another for the lubrication then airbag it is made up of nylon then ignition plug this is what we have seen here the ignition plug it is see this is what the ignition plug and yeah then sodium acid is a chemical which is inside the airbag that is nylon a nylon cover so once the sodium acid get in touch with the battery supply then yeah sorry so once the sodium acid uh, get in touch with the uh, sodium uh, sorry power supply then it will give the products as sodium plus nitrogen gas yes this nitrogen gas blow up the um, nylon cover it will become you know it inflate it will save the stuff so this is a very if i want to give a very small you know small recap i can take this picture see if the crash sensor will detect the crash then it sends the input to the ecu ecu will just uh, you know care, evaluate how the accident is then once the video decides it is an accident it will immediately give a control to the inflate system that is to the airbag system it inflate to the inflate the airbag uh, there uh, it will close one circuit in that circuit the positive and negative uh, give the it, it, it just reaches the sodium acid the sodium acid gives the product as 
nitrogen and sodium the nitrogen that to nitrogen gas the nitrogen gas blows the nylon bag it it is called the air bag which saves the human lives this entire process should be ended within 0.5 Two five seconds in the modern car. If it is a normal, uh, it's a moderate car. It will be at least zero point eight zero. That is within one second. It was an expectation. So this is a very simple. I uh, this is very briefly I explained. So yes, if you have any queries, you can leave a comment. And the next uh, next video on Lin bus that is part two. We have a couple of a couple of tutorials ago we have done with the Lin bus part one and I have a very uh, very good response for that. Yes, the next tutorial will be on Lin bus part two.